Hey, we have here today another integral. This one's from MIT 2013, problem 20. We have the integral of sine x, natural log sine x dx. Okay, now let's look at this thing. The problem staring at us is this natural log, and particularly with sine x as the input to it. Now, my first thinking was, okay, we could do a u substitution. That would be great if this was a cosine. And we could still do a u substitution, but I think with a sine, it might be better if we do integration by parts. So let's try that out. I'm going to do is integration by parts using the di method and what i've done is we've taken this we have two functions we want one that we want to differentiate and one we want to integrate so we're going to choose to differentiate natural log sine x because we don't have a good way to really integrate that right but we'll integrate sine x and we know how to do that so it's by having that choice we can find an easier path forward so then let's differentiate natural log sine x so that's going to be one over sine x, but then we need the chain rule. So the derivative of sine x is just cosine x in the numerator. And then here, our integral of sine x is going to be just minus cosine x. And what happens is the diagonals will be part of our answer. So we have that part right there, but we need to look at this line, this row right here as another integral. So let's break that out separately. Okay, so what I've done here is we just had the minus, the minus cancel. And cosine times cosine gives us our cosine squared over this sine x. Okay, then integrate this. I think I'm going to use the identity that cosine squared x is 1 minus sine squared x. Okay, and then we'll have our sine x in the denominator. And then what I can do here is break this into two integrals with this minus sign. So we're going to have 1 over sine x. So our first integral is going to be just cosine x minus sine squared over sine. is just one of these is going to cancel out. And we're going to have just a sine x. So first I'm going to integrate cosecant x, and that's just going to be natural log cosecant x minus cotangent x, absolute value. So then we'll have minus the integral of sine x, which is just minus cosine x. So what we'll do is we'll take the minus and we'll change this to a plus. And then all we need to do is we have this part of our answer, but we also need to remember that we have this from our integration by parts table. Let me clean, let me get a little more space, then we'll put this all together. Okay, so here we just have the result of this integral, which we found on the previous board, and then we just need to add in this piece. So rewriting this is gonna be, we're gonna have, a, I'll write the cosine out front. So we'll have minus cosine x natural log sine x plus c. And that's it, we've got a really long answer, but it's just not too bad. So we'll circle it and we're done. Good problem, that was MIT 2013, problem 20. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.